In this video, we're going to provide the solution for question number 10 from practice exam number one for math 2270. We have a three by three linear system that we have to solve. I would begin by writing the augmented matrix uh, one, negative two, three, seven, two, one, one, four, negative three, two, negative two, and negative 10. Looking at this matrix, if I want to row reduce it, I'm going to see there's a pivot in the first position. So I'm going to have, that's a one, that's great. So we're going to take row two minus two times row one. And we're also going to take row three plus three times row one. So we're going to get a minus two, a positive four, a minus six, and a minus 14. And then for row three, we're going to get three, negative six, nine, and 21. So then copying down what we did to that matrix, the first row stays the same, one, negative two, three, and seven. The second row will become zero, five, negative five, and negative 10. The third row will become zero, negative four, uh, neg uh, positive seven, and then 11, like so. The next thing I wanna do, moving my pivot position to the two, two spot, I recognize that the third, the second row, everything's divisible by five, so I'm gonna divide everything by five in row two. This gives me the matrix where the first row stays the same. In the second row, everything divided by five, you got zero, one, negative one, and negative two. This gives you zero, negative four, seven, and 11. And so again, still with my pivot in the two, two spot, I wanna get rid of the negative four that's below. So I'm gonna take row three, and I'm going to add to it four times row two. This will give us plus four, minus four, and minus eight. So the first row stays the same. The second row stays the same. And the third row will become zero, zero. We're going to get seven minus four, which is three. And we're gonna get 11 minus eight, which is likewise three. And so then my pivot will move to the three, three spot that I wanna think about. Um, I want that to be a one, so I'm gonna divide the third row by three. Scroll things up so I have some more space. So we get one, negative two, three, and seven. We're going to get zero, one, negative one, negative two, and we're gonna get zero, zero, one, and one. So still, now we're in the backwards phase, right? We wanna get zeros above the one right there. I'm gonna take row two and add to it row three. This will give me a plus one and a plus one. Uh, we're going to then get take row one and subtract from it three times row three. So we get minus three, minus three. Perform the row operations. So you get one, negative two, zero, slash four, and then we're gonna get zero, one, zero, negative one, and then we get zero, zero, one, one, like so. So now looking at, now looking at the two, two pivot again, we want to get a zero above that, it's because the pivot's already a one, right? So we're gonna take row one and add to it two times row two. So we're gonna get a plus two right here, and we're gonna get a minus two right here, which I need a little bit more space, so let me just squeeze it in just right here. I wrote too big, apparently. So you can get one, zero, zero, two. You're gonna get zero, one, zero, negative one, and zero, zero, one, one. And so this would indicate to us that the solution, our solution X is gonna be uh, the vector two, negative one, one, like so. And so this is how we showed how we could solve this system of equations using Gauss-Jordan elimination.